From just an ordinary TV reporter to becoming the Queen of Europe's one of the most prestigious monarchies, the Kingdom of Spain, her lifestyle was not as fancy as it is right now. She was even previously married before marrying King Felipe and faced countless criticism from the media and even from his own father-in-law, the former King of Spain, Juan Carlos. People even speculated that Letizia's drive for wealth and power was behind her marriage to the Spanish king. Sit back tight and enjoy the remarkable story of how Letizia went from an ordinary divorced journalist to becoming the Queen of Spain. On the 15th of September, 1972, in the serene halls of Minor Sanatorium in Oviedo, Asturias, Letizia Ortiz Roca Solano was born. She was the eldest daughter of Jesus José Ortiz Alvarez, a journalist, and Maria de la Paloma Roca Solano Rodriguez, a nurse. She grew up with her two sisters, Telma and Erica. Their family was quite beautiful, both of the parents were happy with their three daughters. Everything was going pretty well. Letizia, on the other hand, was a brilliant student. In Oviedo, she attended the primary school called La Gesta. She completed her high school after moving to Rivas Vecia Madrid in the Ramiro de Maista High School. Driven by a deep-seated passion for storytelling and inspired by her father's journalistic background, Letizia pursued a bachelor's degree in journalism at the Complutense University of Madrid. Her growing experience in the field paralleled her dedication to her studies. She worked at the newspapers, La Nueva España, ABC, and the EFE News Agency, shaping her early career with a mix of study and practical experience. Letizia's aspirations took her beyond the borders of Spain, all the way to Mexico, where she engaged in PhD studies and collaborated with the newspaper Siglo 21. This international exposure was a very important part of her life. It made her see things in new ways and improved her skills in journalism. Returning to Spain, her career trajectory took an upward swing as she joined the Madrid branch of Bloomberg TV, specializing in economy, finance, and markets. Her talents were soon recognized on a larger stage as she moved to CNN+, Plus, showcasing her skills as a reporter, editor, and broadcaster. The year 2000 marked another milestone in Letizia's career when she joined Televisión Española. Here, she was not just behind the scenes but also in front of the camera, co-anchoring Telediario Segunda Edition and presenting Informed Seminal. Her journalistic prowess was recognized when she was awarded the prestigious Lara Prize by the Madrid Press Association, an honor reserved for the most outstanding journalist under 30. Throughout these years, Letizia's personal life had its ups and downs. In fact, she married her first love, Alonso Guerrero Perez, a high school literature teacher, in a simple civil ceremony. Their relationship began well before their marriage. They dated for 10 years, a period during which Letizia was establishing her career in journalism. She was happy and everything was going pretty well, but things started to shift. Letizia Ortiz was about to experience a lot of big changes in her life. The first tremor of this transformation came with the divorce of her parents in the late 1990s. This event, a personal family matter, was perhaps the first in a series of shifts that would lead Letizia down an unexpected path. Around the same time, Letizia's own marriage to Alonso was falling apart. After a decade-long relationship and a year of marriage, the couple parted ways in 1999. This period marked a turning point, not just in her personal life but also in the public's perception of her. In fact, in her early years as a journalist, Letizia was striving for success in a very competitive industry that placed a lot of emphasis on looks and appearance. This contributed to her developing anorexia and unhealthy eating habits. Several biographies mention that she became dangerously thin and malnourished due to extreme dieting and exercise. Some reports say her weight once dropped to around 95 pounds when she was in her mid-twenties. Letizia has been open about battling anorexia, acknowledging it was a years-long struggle. She has said she sought professional help to recover from the disorder when she was around 24 years old. Even after recovery, body image has remained a challenge. Dealing with all these problems as a woman of ambition and resilience, Letizia moved forward with her life, putting all her effort into her successful career in journalism. And her professionalism and hard work paid off, as she became a familiar face on national television, reporting and anchoring for Televisión Española. Little did she know, her growing public presence was setting the stage for a fateful encounter that would alter the course of her life. 
One special evening, at a social event, Prince Felipe first saw Letizia Ortiz, a well-known journalist. This moment marked the beginning of a royal love story that would capture the hearts of many. Felipe was quickly drawn to Letizia, starting a romance that would soon intertwine their destinies. Felipe then arranged a dinner through a mutual friend. Letizia was nervous and also scared of getting into another relationship, so she just kept avoiding it. But after a couple of requests, she finally agreed to go on a date with King Felipe. It is said that they felt an instant connection when they first talked that night. Their romance blossomed in secrecy, away from the media's stare. After that sparks flying first meeting, the couple had to be discreet about dating. They would arrange secret meetings away from the public eye. Letizia would often be picked up in an unmarked car and whisked away to Felipe's residence outside Madrid. During their early romance, they enjoyed dinners together, walks in the garden, and talking late into the night about their hopes, dreams, and ideas for the future. Felipe was charmed by Letizia's sincerity and independence. And Letizia found Felipe to be kind-hearted and very supportive of her career. When separated by royal duties, they stayed connected through long phone calls and love letters. They tried to sneak in as much time together as possible. It was during a trip to Felipe's yacht that he proposed to Letizia while they watched the sunset. Felipe's proposal, initially met with hesitation by Letizia, eventually led to their engagement announcement in November 2003, which was both a moment of joy and a source of controversy. Being a respected journalist, she was stepping into a life that was vastly different from her previous experience in the media. The reaction of the public was mixed, with some people fascinated by their romance, while others were uncertain about a journalist joining the royal family, especially one who had been previously married to someone. Some even questioned her suitability as the future Queen of Spain. Adding to the complexity of their relationship was the reaction of King Juan Carlos, Felipe's father. Rumors circulated about his disapproval, with some reports suggesting that he referred to Letizia as the worst thing to happen to the royal family. She was even called just a maid by some friends of the former king, Juan Carlos, highlighting the unfair judgments she encountered. These rumors painted a picture of a family at odds with their son's choice. Letizia, amid the storm, remained poised. Her transition from a respected journalist to a figure of national fascination was not without challenges. She faced scrutiny over her past, her divorce, and her suitability as a future queen. Yet, through it all, Letizia's strength and grace were evident. She got through these hard times with the same strength that she had shown in her earlier life. Their wedding on May 22, 2004, in Madrid's Almudena Cathedral, was a lavish event that drew the attention of the nation. This celebration marked more than the union of two individuals, it symbolized a shift in the traditions of the Spanish monarchy. Letizia, a commoner with a successful career, was breaking centuries-old norms to become a princess, and in time, a queen. Adjusting to royal life was a significant challenge for Letizia. But during this period, she again showed remarkable adaptability and strength, gracefully accepting her new responsibilities as a member of the Spanish royal family. On June 19, 2014, an official ceremony was held at the Spanish Royal Palace. Thousands gathered to witness the new king and queen, as King Juan Carlos abdicated and Felipe was proclaimed as the King of Spain. It was an important moment in Spanish history. The country was transitioning to a new monarch for the first time in 39 years. Letizia was no longer a princess. She was now the Queen Consort of Spain. The transition to royalty for Letizia, a former journalist, and a divorcee from a middle-class background, was filled with unique challenges. She faced criticism and resistance from various quarters, including traditionalists within the royal circle and the Spanish aristocracy. Letizia's approach to her new role was closely scrutinized, with her every move and decision becoming the subject of public and media attention. But again, she proved all her critics wrong. As queen, Letizia carries out many official duties representing the Spanish monarchy, both nationally and internationally. She attends multiple events, audiences, and openings each year. She also focuses on social issues like education, culture, innovation, and women's rights. She works to support young people and people with disabilities. On the international stage, Letizia promotes Spanish language and culture. She carries out foreign visits and attends events like the Frankfurt Book Fair.
Letizia is viewed favorably by most Spaniards for her strong work ethic, dedication to social causes, and representation of a modern monarchy. Polls have shown 70 to 80 percent approval for the Queen and her commitment to using her role to benefit Spanish society. She is seen as accessible, down-to-earth, and concerned for the people. The Queen's journey has also been marked by a relationship with the media. Coming from a journalism background, she has had a unique perspective on dealing with public scrutiny. Letizia has managed to maintain a balance between her private life and her public role, often under intense media scrutiny. Apart from all these, Letizia's role as a mother to Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia has been a critical aspect of her life. She has been instrumental in shaping their education and preparing them for their future roles within the monarchy. The balance between her public duties and her role as a mother highlights the evolving nature of the royal family in the 21st century. Her story is not just about her ascension to the throne, but about her continual efforts to balance tradition with modernity, her personal life with public responsibilities, and her role as a monarch with her advocacy for social change. Comment your thoughts on Queen Letizia and let us know if you want to enjoy more real-life stories like this one.